Welcome to our first episode of our Farm Simulator 22 playthrough. So we're going to be doing this Let's Play uh, as completely vanilla without any mods whatsoever. So let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do, if you've never done this before, is start a career, open an empty slot. So double click on that. We're going to use our first map of Elm Creek. Press continue. And we're going to deselect all the mods. So they're all gone. So we're completely vanilla here. Hit start. And let's go for it. So here we are. This is Elm Creek. So this is our map. Uh, this is our land here. As you can see our flashing little... Uh, icon there showing where we're standing first thing if you've never played this before it's worthwhile going through the settings so i generally set mine to auto save off so i can save it when i want uh time scale i'll put it to real time there's no real advantage doing any other uh take seasonal growth off for now uh, i'll explain a little while uh, later uh, days per month set for one day, so that's basically when one day passes, so does one month. Take snow off, it's just less pain to have. I take crop destruction off, period egg plowing is, is off anyway. Field stone I'll take off as well. I'll leave lime on, but I'll take weeds off. So this is a good easy setting to start off with, with just lime being a requirement. Everything else can pretty much stay the same. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we can leave all that as per normal. You can take buy off the workers as well, but I don't plan to use that many workers and I'm going to just save the game now so I've got a standpoint. So, this is our map and this is our farm. So, let's have a look at it. So, here we are, our flashing little icon. So where we're standing in front of field 45 and if we look at what we've got we press x and basically we see we own just this bit of land so we can purchase the land like field 7 here which is 177,000 just over but we've only got hundred thousand dollars anyway so we couldn't afford to get that yet but we'll certainly be buying more land as we go along so as you can see nothing else is being sold so let's take a look now at our fields so let's see what we have so field 45 and 44 yep just double checking all our lands so 44 45 and 46 it looks like we've got wheat in 45 and 44 uh, 46 we don't have anything so there's only one thing it doesn't usually put on straight away is grass. Uh, so I'll just click that on so we can see any what's grass because we will be utilizing that some part in this series. Uh, and then we can look at the growth. So our 44 field has already been harvested, so there's nothing there. And our field 45 is ready to harvest, so that means we're going to kick off with uh, need to harvest something straight away and if we look at 46 as well we can see that's just cultivated with nothing else here's our weather forecast don't really we don't really need to worry about that to be fair here's all our prices vehicle overviews will go over finances will go over animals we don't have any yet no contracts available as yet but this will fill up as time goes along with no production chains uh, and explain a little bit more of that in a later episode. Uh, here's the st statistics for those of you who like to follow that sort of thing with settings we've already gone through, so that should do. So one thing we do have in these maps is usually a lot of useless equipment. We've only got 100 grand, so let's let's take as much as we can and sell as much as we can just to give us that little extra boost but here's our harvester and header which is pretty small both the header and the actual harvester but it's big enough for that small small field we've got so we should be good with that today i think 
that's our house so this little icon here is where we sleep so that's that's where we press to move forward a day which in the game is also equal to one month so that helps things like growing fields so if uh, it takes two months to grow a field it's just two sleeps we got a pickup truck which we'll probably get which we will get rid of and this is our other field which has already been harvested I'm not really going to put anything in these fields I think we're going to start off try to earn some money that we got one of our tractors there along with the cultivator and a weight this is our grain silo which we'll keep uh, it's pretty useful pretty large that actually here's a barn we'll, we'll definitely will sell this one uh, I don't really have much use for barns we'll be creating our own sort of like uh, storage facility so so we can get rid of that there's our other tractor and trailer so and there's our header trailer and yeah this is more or less our farm so I think we should start to now think about well, let's have a look at our field over here as well oh we got a water barrel here which we'll probably get rid of because yeah it costs money to fill that anyway we can get water for free in the beginning uh, and this is our field 46 which is fertilized at least once or cultivated I should say and it needs lime but again I don't think we're going to do anything on the, those fields initially let's take a look at uh, our owned tractors because we don't really need all this stuff so because that's selling some stuff we want to keep the biggest tractor we have which is not that very big 190 horsepower but we'll keep that and I think we'll just sell the other two so yeah let's go to the small John Deere and the Ferguson let's flip back up and see what else harvester we're going to keep for now uh, cars we can get rid of that we'll drive about in the tractor headers we'll need the headers so trailer yeah we'll keep the trailer for now pretty much carries everything but it's pretty small uh, cultivator we, yeah, we'll keep that thing and cedar for now we may sell that later get rid of the trailer we don't need that because we're going to sell the harvester once we've harvested and we can get rid of one of the weights So that's given us some money, 281,000. So it's given us another 108, just over 180,000. So what we need to do now is, well, look towards what we've got uh, construction wise and let's see if we sell some of our buildings. Use vehicle sales, always worth to keep an eye on that. We can get some cheaper vehicles uh, in that and they come in random sort of thing. So I'm not sure what the what the change over time is but it's worth keeping a check just to see if you're buying anything so I'm going to the construction tab now so we can look if we can delete you know some some bits we actually don't need so we'll keep the house for the uh, sleep point and we'll get rid of this we don't really need that it's just a farm garage so 25 grand better in our pocket needs a bit of a hole but we'll deal with that later we're going to keep the silo that's definitely going to be useful I think this building is just a complete prop it's pretty useless just I guess just looks to pretty up the farm but we might as well uh, we don't get no money for it but we'll sell it anyway uh, for the farm barn we'll get nothing for that as well but again it's just in the way so we're just going to get rid and then I think that's it well apart from last but not least we'll just get rid of that water barrel as well because again one and a half grand that's all we get back for it but we don't need it and I think that should be all the buildings that we're gonna sell right now so <clears throat> let's get back into it and let's fill them holes in I think at least so go to landscaping we're going to choose the leveling tool which is the second one down 
we can change the shape of this this uh, tool from a square to a circle uh, and then change the size depending on what controls you've got I'm using my uh, my controller here my Xbox controller which I have connected to the PC so we'll just fill this hole in yep that should be good enough let's do it a bit more a bit more that should do it no a bit more there you go a little he raises the land up just all around it makes it nice and, and level you can change your brush type your strength all that sort of stuff but it seems to be doing its job right now so that's good enough we'll try to level it up as best we can yeah we've got a bit of a hump there so let's just take it back from here just to level it straight across level it straight across just to even that up and then let's get to the smoothing part and we'll just smooth that down so the transition is isn't too bad for the slope and that looks all right I think let's go back to the leveling tool and let's fill in the hole that the garage left us that should fill in nicely I think and there we go all filled Okay, that should be all right we can get out of this for now so what we're going to do now is look to see to to get some cash generating which doesn't involve crops just some passive I mean we've got this crop here which is wheat uh, it's ready to harvest we will harvest that today but I'm not going to sell that uh, that wheat because we're gonna we're gonna get some chickens which is always good to get some extra extra cash uh, and it's a very good animal or bird to have when it comes down to when it comes when it comes down to uh, earning some money in the early game so this is our harvester I think what we'll do is harvest this field and let's get that out of the way <coughs> so I just need to connect the header to the harvester so I'll just itch a bit forward oops too far back up a bit and I'm just waiting for that to highlight at the bottom there it is attach press here which is on my air controller there you go now if I press Y it will flip from the header to the to the harvester as you can see at the top end of the controls the white is the selected item so I'm going to unfold the harvester right now and that gets the harvester prepped and then we're just going to turn the harvester on and I've got the straw swath on which which we're going to do because we get good straw from, from wheat which again we're going to use for animals so for this I'm just going to do a quick headland which is a base, basically one circuit around the whole field and then go up and down this field is only going to take a few minutes it's, it's tiny which is a good job because this is a this is a tiny harvester as well so once we've harvested this field we'll just sell this harvester and, and get the cash because we can always lease vehicles should we need a harvester again 
uh, until we've got enough funds in the bank to be able to start to buy and own. So we're just going to take it easy around the bend. You're pretty much stuck with the, a certain speed and it's the, the speed of the harvester will depend on the speed of the header. So in this case the header is obviously a 6 mile an hour. So while the header is down, that's the speed the harvester can go, the maximum speed. So it can be a bit slow, but you can buy faster harvester uh, headers. And if you have mods, get even faster. Uh, and it's always worth looking at mods. Because uh, mods aren't cheats in my books. They can be, but... I don't generally get the cheats. I get the ones what enhance the game with either quality of life modifications or or extra equipment, different equipment, and even more accurate equipment. Because the the guys and girls out there who do this modding do a fantastic job. And generally, most of them are, are actually real farmers who probably know a lot more than I do who have never farmed anything in my life but I love this game so let's uh, let's crack on so if you look at the blue bar at the bottom right hand screen it shows a sort of blue bar sort of slowly increasing across as we as we fill up the harvester we're only 26% now 27% full so we've well enough space in this harvester to actually you know get the get the field done in one go without having to empty the harvester at one point once we get bigger fields we'll start looking at bringing mods in like uh, especially things like uh, mods that allow us to have workers in more accurately to plough the fields and mods and that that same worker will be able to automatically empty it uh, each each harvester when it becomes full and we can even set it up where where workers actually follow side by side the harvester so it can actually empty on the go but like i said they're for future episodes for now we'll just do it all ourselves save the money not pay any workers fees so we should get this done in the next two runs I would think easy enough should end up with just a small strip left after this notice the long strips of hair left left behind the harvester we'll collect that too and bail that into straw excellent all looking good and that's just leaves one final strip to do get to the end of this and then what we'll do for now we'll store the grain we've we've got in the harvester into our silo and then we'll sell the harvester in header at least for now A decent harvester and header will probably cost about half a million, if not a little more. So, head over to the silo, we'll just pull out the pipe. And once we get over the grate of the silo, it should automatically start pumping out, and there we go. So, 
I think that was 47 thousand litres which uh, will be enough for our chicken coop we wouldn't get much money selling it so we may as well utilize it for the chickens okay <clears throat> all done let's uh, let's get into the menu and let's sell this harvester and header 100 grand better on our bank headers 23 grand for selling it that's all right that's good 463,000 so what we need to do now is we've housed that we'll hire a baler at some point just to bring up that hay and put it into bales As you can see we got everything in there now so what we need to do is go into construction mode yeah, I see a little dint in there actually we'll just go into landscaping and just re-level that, that part just so it gets nice and straight for the chicken coop should be it and then oh, got a deer coming in bit of a floater there too okay let's go back to the top screen yeah we could look at painting it but to be honest it's two dollars a section might as well save the money this point let's get into the animals pick the chickens we've got two options we've got the chicken pasture which will hold 30 chickens and the chicken coop which will do 360 now although there's a big price difference the chicken pasture is still uncomfortably large for only 30 chickens just doesn't fit nice in this part really and the yellow hash marks you see there that's where the eggs will be stored so yeah I think we'll be going for the chicken coop which is much bigger capacity more chickens and I think it'll fit this uh, this little square a lot better so let's put that up there you go that's much nicer it'll build in too comes with its own silo so we can add the feed straight into there and you notice that the, the actual price of putting this changes slightly that depends if there, if there needs to be any added landscaping to, to put it straight but we got it pretty pretty right so let's just see if I can put it I should do yeah looks alright that's our chicken coop eggs will come at the side there here's where we'll put in the feed so back out of construction mode this is where we need to put in the feed so we'll be putting our our wheat we've got in there and if we look at our animals we can see we've got a chicken coop but we don't have any birds yet so let's get some birds So we've got three choices, the chickens in the middle, they're the ones that lay the eggs, 
the rooster is the one it doesn't really do anything it doesn't lay any eggs it just makes the chickens a little happier I think so we we'll just probably buy one of those uh, the chickens here are the ones that that we need to get the eggs but the chicks which are zero age they won't sort of start laying eggs until they're six months old or six sleeps so we've got a mixture we'll get mainly chickens and then some chicks as well let's buy them we'll get the rooster first I guess just the one you see we've got one at a 360 so let's uh, let's fill it with some chickens and just get the maximum oh we can only put 60 in obviously at a time so just get 60 of those then and then we'll get another 60 pick up some chicks now there'll, there'll be chickens in six months time go back uh, get some more chickens now and some more chickens and then we'll finish off I think with some chicks Fifty nine gives us a full coop. So there they all are. And that's where the eggs will come. Let's have a look inside. <laughs> there they all are. Shut the door. Oh, they don't really come out. Very nice. See, they don't really come out. So. Oh. Got the shutters closed, and then what we can do is go to this box here it open and it will open all the shutters as well so we'll leave them open I think close the door get back out yep. and we can see inside now shut that door that's it we have chickens so eventually they will come and uh, start to make us eggs and then we'll need to get some sort of truck so we can get them eggs onto the truck so what would what we need to do now uh, is get some feed into the chicken coop so what we'll do is pick up this weight up here Well, that goes on the front of the tractor so if I take anything heavy on the back I don't end up doing wheelies in the tractor 
so the front weight helps to keep the front of the tractor down since most of the weight is at the back once you're carrying uh, a big tractor or a big trailer there you go now let's go and get the trailer pick up the wheat and uh, put it into the chicken coop and that should uh, that should be enough feed for the chickens and they should start laying eggs so we'll just back it up and there you go backed up to the trailer just need to uncover the trailer that's it and then bring it over to the pipe and then it should come up start filling there you go yep not much should be enough we'll check when we come back and see how long that that wheat lasts but we'll probably get another wheat field somewhere else probably in the next episode we can unload that here and that fills up the chicken feed <coughs> nice yep, that shows us now on food 4148 litres in there I should cover them for a while. No eggs yet, but give them a chance. There they all are. So we got about half full. Productivity is not, but that will pick up as time goes on and we'll just uh, keep a check on it right let's jump back in the tractor we can leave the trailer here because what I want to do I'm not sure if, I think I might get rid of that uh, cultivator actually I don't think I need it it's very small Yeah, I'm going to sell the cultivator, I think. I'm going to sell the cedar as well, because that's pretty small too, so... Yep, that should do. Right, now, what I need to do for my final job today is to get a baler. We just need to pick up that straw and, uh, and bale it up into straw bales. And then we can use that straw bale for other animals such as sheep. Nope, still no eggs yet. <laughs> yeah. Some of the statistics now are starting to show up for harvesting and etc still no contracts yet and yeah we'll probably look to buy another another field next episode okay let's start to think about what we need now so I need Not sure why that productivity is still zero, but like I said, we'll keep a check on it. <laughs> right, before we do anything else, what I'm going to do now, I think, is gain some more money, more passive money. We're going to start to put some greenhouses in. So here we're going to look at some 
there's generators too actually I will probably put a generator in there so you can get like a small solar collector you put them down it gives you passive money large wind turbine is the most but it's also cost the most we can't afford that so we'll probably go for the small wind turbine we should get 13,000 near the 14,000 a month we can put that at the top end here yeah I think that's what we'll do but not quite now right now I want to get the greenhouses set up so not bother with the small the medium go straight for the large so I'm going to utilize this field here I'm not going to use it for anything else it's too small let's line up these greenhouses where the blue water tub is at the front so I can drive a truck past it and fill, fill it up with water that's all these need water and they'll grow tomatoes lettuce and strawberries and passively earn money for us we literally don't have to touch it we can just put it straight to sell so I think I could put three on this side and three on the other Just trying to line them up is a bit awkward but yeah that should do it flip it round so again the barrel is on the outside makes it easier for the truck to get to, uh, to get to it to fill it up uh, let's start the other side here bit OCD trying to get these lined up right hmm should do it there I think Just, uh, not quite not quite straight a bit more there you go let's get it in yep bit over should be alright this lined up as best we can and one more right that's all them done so what we need now is to get some water into these but first we need to set them up so like I said six greenhouses so we can set these up as a couple of bean tomatoes, a couple of bean lettuce and a couple of bean strawberry. So let's get out of this construction mode. Should I put this other generator in now? Yeah, why not? Let's do it while we're here. I've got enough money. Yeah, I think I'll put it over here where I thought about it first. So like I said, this will give us about 13,000 a month it should be giving us. Let's spin it round so it looks alright. A bit straighter than that. There you go. Yeah, why is in a bit of the road there, but we're going to be concreting most of this up anyway, so we're not going to have any fields here, so I'm not too bothered about that. Right. Let's get out of that. <coughs> there she is. I should start earning some money. Right. Get to my uh, production now. All my greenhouses are here. So now I can set these up. So let's do two tomatoes. Just click on it till that white light comes on. It's showing red now, two lettuce. It's showing lead because uh, there's no water in it yet. So they're set up. Okay. 
Oh, uh, one thing I forgot. You need to set these up again. They set currently to storing, so we get pallets outside and we'd have to deal with them ourselves. So we need to change that. You get storing, or you can move it to selling, or distribution. Uh, distribution is is when you've got other uh, productions, so it would distribute to them like a I don't know whatever whatever it may be what takes tomatoes lettuce and strawberries but we're just going to sell these so I'm just going to set them all for selling so it should sell automatically okay now the other thing we need now the last thing we need to get is a baler just need to get rid of the straw No, we don't. First of all, we need to get some water. So where did the water go? Let's check the trailers. So we need uh, something to carry the water in. It's not there. Okay, I can't remember where the water is. Where the water tanks? Not slurry tanks. Uh, I think it's animals actually, is it animals? It's not miscellaneous I don't think, no. No, I'm looking for tankers. So, I think it's animals actually. Oh no, that's just animal transport, animals. Yep, there we go. So there's the two that we can get, one for tractor and one for truck. But we're going to get the truck one and just lease it. 32,000 litres probably take a few trips but yeah that'll be good enough for now let's lease that one then we're not spending all our money leasing is a lot cheaper we just use it till we need it and then once we've finished we can just send it back pick up a truck let's get the Mac just lease it that's it now if we hit tab it should cycle through each vehicle there you go it puts me into the truck so now I just need to fill this up with water and then take it back to the farm If I look at the map, you can see where the water sources are. So that's the water source there, is right near the farm, so that's what I'll probably use. Yep. So we can head over to that now. Uh, actually, in fact, if I turn it around yeah there's a there's a lake just next next to the shop so I might as well fill up here first so you just drive as close to the water as you can and wait till the, you see fill up in that uh, there it goes refill trailer you see the blue bar at the bottom left and uh, bottom right hand corner it's just filling up so that's all we need to do now just get this full up get over to the uh, get over to, to back to the farm and fill up our greenhouses Fifty seven per cent nearly there. Nearly there. <laughs> and then ninety per cent. I 
and fall. Let's go. <clears throat> Takes a while to get up the hill. There's a lot of weight in that water. And then head back to the farm. So we can look at the map, but the farm's to the right, so that's where we are. And this is our farm. So we just know we just go down that road all the way. And there's the water source we'll go to once we've used all this up. I think it'll take about three three to four trips. With mods you can actually get a much bigger capacity trailer but again we're not using mods in this uh, playthrough at least not yet I might bring some mods in later in the series but for now we're just doing it completely mod free as intended by the game This is a nice map this. Let's take a shortcut. It's all our land anyway. So let's just pull up to the front of the first barrel. And start unloading the water. first one took quite a bit <laughs> so yeah I think it's gonna be another three goes this is gonna take some time and just just to make the video a little quicker what I'll do I'll I'll cut the video out from here and uh, we'll get back so there we go we filled all up save a bit of time on the video and now we can unleash our vehicle so we'll uh, return both the trailer and the truck and that's it so just to recap our chickens and we'll look look we've started to get eggs cool let them build up a bit and look our greenhouses are starting to grow we won't see any pallets here because we've got it set up to automatically sell so this is real passive income so in other words we'll get income without doing anything now it'll just keep working as long as we keep keep it full with water it'll just keep earning money for us so the next job and the last job for this episode is going to be getting that uh, straw baled off the field. So let's go and get a straw baler. Again, I'm going to lease one, so I'm not going to waste money buying at this point. So we spent quite a bit of our money on getting the greenhouses and getting the windmill. but hopefully they will reward us as time goes along so we've got let's see yeah I mean we want, want balers obviously we'll be looking at grass as well so I'm just going to take the fence I think which is quite a big baler and it's quite fast too 10 mile an hour which is not too bad for a for a base game 
speed and I'm just going to lease it yep. now hop in the tractor head over to the shop pick up the baler one thing about this tractor it's very slow I'll be looking to swap this out very soon so he's got money for a decent speed tractor with, with a lot more power. I might start bringing in some some of the mods as well to get the better medium tractors. This one's not very uh, not very powerful, but it'll do us for now. We like say 172 grand. So although we only start with a hundred grand, we've only been going in-game hours just over an hour, and we're already seventy-two grand up. And we're going to be constantly earning money. Now, if we look at our map, we can expand it. You can see where we are, and the little white dot there, the top of the map, is where our baler is. So it's just up here on the left. Yep, and well, we should get in there. Uh, the only one thing what might be a problem is I've picked a huge baler which is actually bigger than my tractor. So I might struggle on some hills, but I should be able to manage it, I think. But yeah. Not, I'm not a perfect plan getting such a big uh, such a big straw baler but it is what it is it's huge <laughs> makes my tractor look like a mini but yeah Let's see how we go anyway. So I'll pass us some buildings. Let's take the shortcut again. Just past this uh, house on the left hand side and we can pull into the into the field there which is already ploughed. There we go, pull in here. And then we can start to look to set up the baler. So what we need to do is unfold it first. So let's do that and let's lower the baler. So we've lowered the pickup so it'll pick up all that straw. And we're going to be stuck at 10 mile an hour but to be honest we might struggle to get to 10 because this tractor's really small. And I'm not sure it's got enough power to pull it but let's see. It's not so bad on the straight, we're doing 10 mile an hour. Let's take the whole sort of strip here, spin it round. And get this end bit out the way. Again, this shouldn't take us too long. This is going to be a long episode, but a lot of this is down to the fact that I've been trying to explain what we're doing along the way. I may have missed some things, so if anybody does have any comments or queries, or you want to see anything in particular, let me know in the comments, and I'll put it in the next episode. But what we're doing here now is just picking up this straw not really going to do anything with the straw like selling it but I'm probably going to just store it and uh, I plan to get some sheep which uh, which is good money for the wool and also good to get eventually the tailor shop so we can start to see some productions as well uh, and we need straw to to be able to hair to be able to feed 
actually straw it's probably good enough for cows and that sort of thing we actually need grass don't we for for the sheep and that's what I might actually do on the, one of these fields I might have to turn one of them into a grass field so we can mow it we'll see I need a bigger feel for that though but at this rate we're probably only going to end up with two straw bales out of all this it's not, there's not a lot of straw here it's not a very big field that's why it's not really been worth selling you might as well just put some buildings on it I think Um, we're the through on this one, so we just swing it round. To pick this long strip up here. A couple of more strips to go. long long bit here Ooh, really struggling now struggling to get uphill with this it's just so heavy right I'm just going to drop onto the last bit here of this could have done this more organised but hey ho I just need to clear it Spin it round, get that bottom bit. Then we should just be able to scoot, scoot up and get that last little bit there. We've not got every scrap up, but I'm not that fussed. At the end of the day, I think I just might empty out the bale right now. So we've got at least a, a couple. Okay, well with the pick up again, turn the baler on, finish off. So we're going up with two bales of hair or straw. <laughs> so we can use that to straw for horses, perhaps. Horses are not bad, but you have to you have to train them. So you buy them, train them, but once they're hundred percent, you can sell them for a huge profit. So they are a good profit sort of animal. But there's a lot of work involved. You can get a mod which will automatically train the horses. And you can actually get a mod where you can actually ride the horses in the actual anywhere. But uh but yeah. And uh, you can use the straw as well on, on cows too. Which we, we probably will get cows at some point. Right, that should do us I think. So what I could do now is empty the baler again. Just drop it off. So I've got two bales. Let's get rid of this... Uh, lease again for the baler and that's it so I think that's enough for today so I think that uh, does this episode well thanks for watching if you've stayed around this long and uh, we'll see you soon see you in episode 2